God is a liar. He doesn't say the truth. Oh God, God is not faithful. He was faithful. He's no longer faithful. Beautiful people, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing my face for the first time, I am Amanda Womit of the Mandy and Family YouTube channel. I'm a YouTuber based in precisely in the Kakwame here in the Ontario state of Nigeria. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are. Okay, to my old and returning subscribers, thank you so so much for always sticking around. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments. Thank you so, so much for always watching my videos. Thank you so much. If you're watching, you know, subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. So in today's video, we're talking about God is who he says he is. If this is what you're interested in watching, then please keep on watching. Come once again to my channel. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so we quickly delve into what we have today. Now we're talking about God is who he says he is. There is no controversy about this. This song I have to sing quickly before I go ahead. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. So God is who he says he is. There's no controversy about it. It doesn't matter what you are passing through right now. You that is watching me right now, that boy, that girl, you know, that woman, I talk to everyone. It doesn't matter the sphere of life that you are in, the level of life that you are in. God is who he says he is. Now, who is God? God is God. You know, that's the simplest definition we can give to the definition of who God is. If someone asks you, simply put, who is God? God is God. He is the everlasting Father. He's the King of Kings, the Lord of all. The mighty God, the one who sits upon the throne and makes the earth his foot too. He's the one who says yes and no man can say no. He's the all-sufficient God, the all-knowing God. The one who says, who closes the door and no man can open it. He's the one who opens and no man can close. He's Alpha, he's Omega. He's Jehovah Jireh, he's Ebenezer. He's God all by himself. We call him in the robo, or Berotak Bonejeru. The one who you run to, you know, when hope, there's no hope again. The one you run to, that's the God I'm talking about. I've come to tell you that that God is who he says he is. Now, who is God to you? While I was in the UK, there's this name I used to call God. You know, I think I was passing through a couple of challenges that period. And, you know, my mom can bear witness to that fact. I call him the great orchestrator. You know, a lot of things were happening. I just felt he was orchestrating things in my life. He was putting things the way it should be. You know, the first should be first, the second should be first. It doesn't matter what the challenges are. God was orchestrating my life. I call him the great orchestrator. What do you call God? You know, some people call him Jehovah Jireh because he's God who provides for them. Some people call him Jehovah Rapha because he's the one who heals them. Who is God to you? I've come to tell you today, it's a Sunday, that God is who he says he is. You know, I had to bring up this topic, I saw it all somewhere, I had to bring it up because a lot of challenges are going on right now in town, a lot of worries are going on right now in families, in churches, in nations, see about what about Ukraine, there are Christians there, okay, there are children of God there, a lot of calamity, a lot of trouble is going on, there's fighting between Ukraine and Russia, a lot of stories are going around, there's fear scarcity in Nigeria right now, you know, prices of things have skyrocketed. And you are wondering and asking, is God still God? Is he still the provider that he says he is? Is he still the, the, the Jehovah Rapha that he says he is? Recently, there's one of our sisters that is critically ill. And I was praying to God, I said, God, heal the sister. You know, if, if paraventure, you know, anything happens by the grace of God, positively or negatively, am I still going to ask if God is still God? God is still God. He is who he says he is. He doesn't change. God does not change. He will not change. Not in our time. He will not change in your time. You know, like I said, this sister, we're praying and we're, praying, we're believing God for healing. If something happens, either positive or negative, would we still say God is not God? Are we still going to call God, Jehovah, our Father, the one who heals? He will still be God. Now, if you are passing through a challenge, challenge of, you know, lack of finance or lack of anything, and you're asking, he says it's Jehovah Jarrah that he can provide all my needs. He's still, still God. I've come to tell you, 
God is still God. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Okay? He, God, created the heavens and the earth. He, that God, he has not changed. He is still God. He is still God. That's why I sang the song, you are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. You can sit and sing it this way. He is God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. Yes, you are God all by yourself. We have a lot of scriptures to back the facts that our God is still God. Even in this present time, you know this time that things are hard. You know these times that sickness has skyrocketed. You know these times that when people pray, some people pray, they do not have answers to their prayer. God is still God. That's the message I've come to pass across to you who is watching me. You is asking, is God still God? Has God not changed? Is God still who he is? Is he still seated on the throne with a lot of chaos going on, with a lot of confusion? Is God still God? Please tell me. Yes, I've come to tell you. God is still God. No matter what the challenge you are passing through, even me that is talking, it doesn't matter the challenge I'm passing through right now. God is still God. He is still God. He doesn't change. He doesn't sleep. The Bible says it's God who neither sleeps nor slumber. He does not sleep or he's not, he doesn't slumber. He's the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. He is your God. You that is watching, he is my God. Mrs. Amanda Wemir too. God is my God. He is still God. Circumstances notwithstanding, situations notwithstanding, God is still God. All right, so this is the message I've come to pass across to you. It's a short video letting you know that God is still God. He doesn't change. He will not change. Not in your time, not in my time. God will not change. All right, please leave in the comment section below. Let's interact as much as possible. Do you think God is still God? Times like this, that things are happening. That everything seems to be turning upside down for some people. And the world at large, things are turning upside down. Do you think God is still God? Please, in the comment section below, put down in the comment section below. Do you still think God is God? Or has it changed? Or you think someone else or something else is better than God? Ah, God is a liar. He doesn't say the truth. Oh, God. God is not faithful. He was faithful. He's no longer faithful. Is that what you think? Or you think God is still God? Please leave it in the comment section below. We all want to hear. Pastors in the house, leave in the comment section below with all this that is happening. Is God still God? Is he still who he says he is? Is God still who he says he is? Please leave it in the comment section below. The believing brothers, the strong believing brothers, is God still who he says he is? Or has it changed? 2022 has changed God. Or maybe last year changed God. Please let's interact in the comment section below. But I've come to tell you without confidence, without without any iota of doubt, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, like Esther, to tell you boldly, like Joseph, that God is still God. He will not change, not in your time. He will not change, not in my time. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed my videos, please give it a thumbs up like this. Like, share. To others who saw it on my channel, on any channel. Subscribe, yes, yeah, subscribe. All right, I decided to come out here to end the video formally. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you're watching, you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, okay? Like my video, comments, share, do all those good stuff they do on all the YouTube channel, okay? All right, before we go, we need to pray before us men that are ailing from one challenge of life or another. Those who are asking, is God still God? Okay, because of one issue of life, perhaps, you know, financial issues, could be health issues, and they're asking, is God still God? Are you sure God is still God? We're going to pray for those ones. We're going to pray for Ukraine as well, for the war that they have there and other countries. We pray for Nigeria as well, that God would intervene in all countries, including Ukraine, but at its present day at war. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for the privilege that you have given unto us to know that you are still God. You are still God. You are still seated upon the throne. So you be all the glory in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we pray for us that are passing through one challenge of our life or the other. And to pray asking, is God still God? We pray, God, you will meet them at the point of their needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that will stop them from making you to meet them at the point of their needs will destroy the name of Jesus. We pray for every country that is warring right now for Ukraine. We pray for Ukraine. Oh God, intervene. Let the war cease in the mighty name of Jesus. That's all we can do from here. We pray, O oh God, that you will cause calmness, O oh God, peace like a river 
to flow in the country called Ukraine and other warring countries in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray God you would intervene and all glory be ascribed unto your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, we exalt your name because you have heard us. Once again, we bless you because we trust that you have heard us. So you build the glory forever and ever in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I thank you so, so much for watching. We trust God to intervene and see us through. If you're watching, like I said, you're not subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel once again. Like, share. To all those good stuff you don't in YouTube channel. Until I come your way again next time, this is Amanda Wimitu of the Mandy and Family okay, channel. I also have a, another channel, Amanda's Cooking Channel. Please watch and subscribe to my channel. Until I come your way again next time, this is Amanda Wimitu. God bless you. Remember this. Jesus loves you. God loves you. And so do I. Bye. Bye.